Okay, so in order to make our Egyptian collar, the first thing we're going to do is take apart a cereal box or a granola bar box, whatever light cardboard box you may have on hand that's a little bit thin, just like this. Or you can go ahead and use paper plates um, and just cut it into a U or a rainbow shape instead of using the cereal box. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw my shape. So I'm going to go ahead and situate my drawing, my little guidelines, up here along this straight edge so it's easier to cut. I hope you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and draw a big U or a rainbow shape. And you can adjust this to the size of your own neck. So if you want it to come in a little bit more, just like that. That would probably be a bit better. We are going to tie it off with some string or twine afterwards, so we can make it work whatever size you choose. So I just went ahead and folded over about uh, three quarters of an inch of this little piece right here. And I'm going to do the same thing right on this side, just like that. So then, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to put a tiny little vertical notch in it. Not much, just a little bit. Should look just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, here we go. So right there we'll be able to fit our string through. We'll just be able to push it apart just like that and then feed that string through. Okay, so now that we have those little holes cut, we're going to take two pieces of our string or twine or yarn, whatever you have. And then on one side, I'm going to go ahead and poke it through just like so. And you can either knot it in the back or go ahead and tie it up top. I'm going to tie it up top just because my little hole is a little bit too big um, to go ahead and knot it because that would use up a lot of my string. So I'm just going to tie it on top just like that. So that's one side. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so there we have it threaded through. And then I'm just going to make a basic double knot right on top so it doesn't move. Beautiful. There we have it. So, there we have our two ties. So you could go ahead and tie that around your neck when you're all done. Okay, so here's the fun part. So now that we have our collar all prepped and ready, we get to decorate. So the ancient Egyptians were actually very, very fond of decorating. So they might have decorated their um, sarcophagus, which was what they were buried in. They may have decorated their mummies with masks and collars, just like the one we're making today. Um, they also decorated lots of their jewelry. And they made lots of artwork in general. So they made lots of sculptures, lots of paintings. Um, they made relief sculptures, which were really cool. They carved into some stone or other material to make really pretty, um, more three-dimensional uh, pictures, which was really, really cool. So we're actually going to go ahead and decorate our collar um, in... In Egyptian style or you know if you guys want to get fancy and do whatever you'd like go ahead and go for it okay so we have some paint here and I know that we're kind of staying inside right now and we're trying not to go out to the stores often so use what you have if you have paint great if you don't and you just have some construction paper that you can cut out into some cool shapes just like this you can totally do that. Or, if you have 
some markers. That's also really great. Okay, so I have some markers here and some really cool colors. All right, and you can choose whatever colors you want. So then we're gonna go ahead and get decorating. Right, so I am going to show you more ways than one to go ahead and decorate these. So right here I've put some silver metallic paint into my palette right there. And I'm going to try to make a more gold color out of it by adding a little bit of yellow. Okay, so here I have a yellow paint. I'm just going to squeeze a tiny little bit. And when you look at most Egyptian art, it looks gold in nature typically. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my paintbrush. I'm going to mix, 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 mix. There's a little lesson on color mixing. And that's not quite gold, but it's a little less silver, which is nice. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little tiny bit more yellow to that. And if you have a little bit of orange, that would be perfect too. Just a little tinge of orange. And that silver would probably get you more of a gold color. Alright. Maybe even a nice bronzy color. So there we go. We got our makeshift gold. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead. And... Paint my collar. And I think with a little bit of that marker underneath, it's going to come across even more gold than we thought. All right, so here is our finished product. There we go. That is our Egyptian-inspired collar. Um, again, so they used to put these on the mummies inside their sarcophagus uh, right before they buried them. And uh, they would decorate them. So, however you want to decorate yours, that's up to you. But I hope you guys had fun. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you're learning lots of cool stuff about the ancient Egyptians. Have a great day, guys.